Okay, let me also indicate some of the uh, popular psychic topologies for the two stages of a string inverter. So what is shown here is the uh, complete block diagram that we saw in the previous slide and a possible circuit schematic uh, corresponding to this block diagram could be as shown here. So uh, right across the PV we have uh, um, um, some capacitance CPV uh, which is designed such that the um, high frequency ripple in this voltage is uh, low enough um, so that we um, we are guaranteed a maximum power point tracking even in a high frequency uh, sense. Then the uh, a popular topology for the DC DC stage, uh, especially when you need high frequency isolation, is this isolated boost DC DC converter. Uh, this is something that we will be uh, analyzing in quite a bit of detail in uh, in later later videos. Um, the DC link itself is made of uh, an array of electrolytic capacitors. Uh, even though some of the uh, newer designs and certainly research uh, is uh, is is focusing on uh, reducing the capacitance requirement so that they can be supported just by film capacitors, which are much more reliable than the electrolytic capacitors. The uh, DC to AC period limit stage is uh, very often implemented using a full bridge or a hedge bridge inverter as shown here with either an L or an LCL filter. Of course, uh, what is shown here is just one of uh, many possible uh, topologies. For example, the uh, DC DC can be implemented using any of the uh, bug derived topologies, for example, a full bridge DC DC converter or a dual active bridge or may any other uh, isolated DC DC converter can be used. The advantage of uh, boost is that uh, it, it inherently draws a smooth input current because of the L present at the input and uh, one of the drawbacks of a boost converter which is uh, a large uh, high frequency RMS current through this capacitor. Uh, it may not be a big problem in a PV application, in a single phase PV application because anyway these uh, capacitors have to be rated to support the large 120 hertz current therefore they, they would uh, be inherently capable of handling the high frequency current as well. So, so isolated Bose type is a popular topology uh, but it's not the only possible topology. Similarly on the AC side we can have uh, many variants of this uh, full bridge or a hedge bridge inverter uh, to meet some unique requirements, uh, especially when you talk about transformerless topologies. There are multiple variations of the full bridge converter, uh, which again we'll be studying in, uh, in later videos. Okay, so we have looked at the main control function requirement of the uh, string inverter. So in this slide, we, uh, we will look at um, what is the role of uh, each stage and uh, how together they meet all the control requirements. So the DC to DC stage is responsible for the following. So it provides uh, the galvanic isolation through high frequency transformer that is one of its main uh, function. Um, the, the turns ratio of the high frequency transformer can be selected such that we get the appropriate voltage matching. It could be step up or step down requirement depending on what is the PV voltage versus what is the grid voltage. Now, um, now even though the uh, this is called an isolated boost, um, it is possible that the PV voltage can be either higher or lower than the output voltage depending on what turns ratio we select here. So, uh, so for example, if the um, output voltage is less than so. So I mentioned the uh, the range is 250 to 550 here, and let's say this voltage is for uh, 400. Okay. So under some condition, uh, when the input voltage is 550, the output is actually less than the input voltage. So that does not mean that this is not operating in the in the boost mode. So the turns ratio is selected such that under all operating conditions, the converter operates as a, as a boost converter in the in the boost mode. Uh, one of the main functions of the uh, uh, the DC DC stage is to provide this maximum power point tracking. So we'll have an MPPT algorithm which provides, for example, either directly the duty ratio command for the isolated boost converter, or it could provide a voltage reference for this input and the 
the the boost converter tries to maintain this uh, PV voltage uh, per the MPPT requirement by continuously changing its duty ratio. So that is the that's the main function of the first DC DC stage. Then the DC AC stage is responsible for controlling the grid current uh, to be uh, unity power factor and uh, and also making sure that the amplitude corresponds exactly to the maximum possible power from the from the solar arrays. It is also responsible for regulating this DC link voltage. Okay. So the DC link, even though it is the output of the DC DC stage, it is not directly regulated by the Bose converter, but rather it's it's regulated by the uh, DC the AC stage by controlling the uh, the amplitude of the current and therefore the power that is injected into the grid. The boost stage just draws the maximum possible power from the PV and just dumps it into the DC link and the DC AC stage in regulating the DC link voltage to be the set value uh, provides the correct power into the grid. The DC AC stage is also responsible for the anti-islanding control loop. And uh, finally as I mentioned the uh, the role of the bulk capacitors is to support the uh, the the balance uh, the difference between the pulsating power at the at the grid output uh, to the uh, continuous DC power that needs to be drawn from the PV so the balance is supported by the DC link capacitor and which is uh, at present a large electrolytic capacitor array uh, but uh, the research is on using low capacitance which can be supported by long life film capacitors Okay, next we will look at the um, control loops of the two individual stages in a little bit more detail. So as we saw, the main function of the DC-DC stage is to provide this maximum power, maximum power point tracking. So it employs um, um, one of many different MPPT algorithms. For example, uh, the commonly used uh, methods are perturb and observe method or incremental conductance method. So regardless of the algorithms, the MPPT um, stage provides uh, either directly the duty ratio reference to the boost stage or it provides the um, voltage reference um, for the boost stage. So that is the reference for the PV voltage. So if you operate at that particular voltage for the corresponding environmental conditions, then we are guaranteed that the product of um, the corresponding PV array current and this voltage is the maximum possible power at that instant. So then it is the role of the boost stage to control its duty ratio such that the voltage across the PV is regulated precisely to this uh, voltage reference. So the voltage reference is compared with the measured PV voltage and the error is processed through this voltage controller which eventually controls the um, duty ratio or the gate drive to these uh, four, four devices. Next, the uh, DC to AC stage has um, two control functions. It needs to control the current that is injected to the grid and it also needs to regulate this DC link voltage. And this is done in a, a cascaded control fashion. Um, so there is a, an inner current control loop and there is an outer voltage control loop which controls the DC link voltage magnitude. So let's look at the inner current control first. So this is the um, from here so this is the inner current control loop in this in this way so we, it, there is a current reference you'll see how that is obtained so that current reference it's a sinusoidal current reference that is compared with the actual grid current or this um, output uh, the first stage inductor current and the error is processed through a current controller which um, offers some feed forward which we'll see in later videos why we need this feed forward it goes to directly control the um, duty ratios or the modulation index uh, and the phase relationship of um, uh, of this DC-AC stage. So then the uh, the question is how is this um, current reference obtained and how that is related to this uh, voltage regulation. So the current control reference um, is obtained in, in, um, in two parts. One is to provide the amplitude which comes from this DC link voltage. So let's look at this outer voltage loop. So we provide a DC link voltage 
reference I'm sorry and that is compared with the actual measured DC link voltage and the error is processed through the uh, through this DC link um, uh, controller and um, the output of that is the actual amplitude of this current reference so this will be uh, predominantly a DC value corresponds to the amplitude of the required uh, current to be injected into the grid now, this signal is multiplied by a sinusoidal reference and that sign signal comes directly from the grid voltage through a PLL so the multiplication of this amplitude with the sign shape provides a complete current reference and then the inner current loop makes sure that the current follows this current reference okay. so in providing this uh, current amplitude we actually regulate the DC link voltage and that forms the requirement of the amplitude of the of the current reference so in this fashion we are guaranteed that the current injected has this um, unity power factor relationship if that is what we are um, we, we intend to do and, and also the um, um, the MPP, MPPT requirement is satisfied by making sure that we actually take out all the power that is injected into the DC link from the first stage. Um, the, the requirement that we regulate the DC link voltage automatically ensures that whatever power comes in here is taken out by the DC to AC inverter.